Hello my fellow attackers, this is Patax here and welcome back to Ultra Despair Girls Danganronpa, another episode. Last time guys, we got really got into thick, deeper things. Apparently we were asked to leave the town. Guys, I just wanna, I wanna sit down and say something right now. I actually played through the entirety of chapter 4 before. However, there was a little audio mishap. And so... Everything just went poo poo. It sucks. I have to replay through it all again, but I'm doing it because I, I just there are probably also little details and I didn't do exactly as good as I wanted to do. So I think this will be a perfect time. And let's go to beginning of chapter four. All right. Chapter four. The way we live. All right, I'm gonna turn down the volume for me. There we I go. Beg of you, please, just leave this city. Now. Wh where did this come from? Oh yeah, he's being recorded. Whoa. Oh, Got a Coca-Cola with me. I knew this would happen. Nagito, you sneaky son of a gun. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So please, get out of our town. But, but, uh, oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Oh, yep, he's bending down, he's please. kneeling. I'm begging you, please leave. Hey, I wouldn't trust a kid, even if he's kneeling on the ground. He's obviously tricking us. I do not intend to trick you. I'm serious. And then unlocks our bracelet. And now you are free. If you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad! They're like I know super that, mad. But it has to be done. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. Katoko is not so sure. I'll take you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Hey! I told you to wait! What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um... Oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? I am. Are you? Of That's the question. Is. This is what she wanted all this time. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Omaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. <coughs> oh, jeez. Uh, some... Her feelings? Nah. Sh shut up! You have no right to say that. You have no right either it's to going choose to be our all fate. Right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Let's oh. go. Yes, we're leaving. Nagisa! Don't follow us. You don't want Monica to hate you, do you? Man, Toka is just left alone. You know, I played through this chapter and never once is Katoko mentioned again. Let's so go. what happens with the her? The secret passageway is this way. Alright. This way. First off, there's a little secrety secret the over kid. here. He looks so normal. Running like that, yeah. Running like that? Yep. How does a non-normal kid run? Now, excuse me, I'm just going to save. Over <laughs> all the... All my progress. Chapter like that. Oh, gosh. I have to save over all my progress. Oh, crap. I'll just pick up like that. 
about the children at night. There's only one thing I can tell for sure after taking the night shift as lookout. The children are all wearing those idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping. I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible they're just mechanical dolls like Monokuma's? Well, regardless, whether they're human or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when you run them over. Alright. Battery. I keep pressing F. I've, I was playing a game last night, and it just kind of, I guess it just kind of stuck with me a little too much. Here we go. Here's a cutscene. This way! Follow me closely! Uh oh, SpaghettiO! <laughs> uh, the le and the I re another reason why I wanted to re why I also wanted to re record this and I thought this was a good opportunity. I was a little sick and I Hold still on. am a little sick. Why are you attacking me? But I'm better. So. Uh oh. Why are you attacking him? He did nothing wrong. What's going on? Nope. Why is he getting ambushed Bad. by the Monokuma? Bad. I don't know either. Hey, Bad. I keep on pressing F. Oh, it locks on to the nearest target. I see. Okay. Keep pressing F! F! It's E, not F! E, not F! Hey! How come they attack? I thought you said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. This is strange. What in the world is this? Hey, I don't know. You weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then Fair enough. They must have found out you betrayed them. B betrayal? Me? N no, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. Mm. It appears your allies okay. aren't taking it that way. Ugh. I'm sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. All right, anyway, let's continue on. I'm gonna... E. Press E to collect. There Let's we go. go. There we go. Bodies everywhere. Yep. I'm getting sick of this. The secret passageway is this way. There we go. And now we're getting ambushed again. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. Die. And now explode. There you go. Okay, good. Aha! Alright! More bullets, exactly what I needed.
There we go. Perfect. Exactly how I like it. Nice! Yeah! Run away! I'm gonna go this way really quick. Uh, just so then I can explore and more because I believe there is something back here. There is something back here, right here. All right, there we go. Conductors, 48 hours. Odoriko Anaka, famous for the genius con for, as the genius conductor, is regarded by the world as perfect, talented, e extraordinary, and beautiful. However, she has a secret that she keeps from them all. The pinnacle of lyrical sexual prowess, a fluttering melody of suffering and s sadism. Okay. This novel seems pretty intense. Interested? So vulgar. Even with the S and M bits, it's beneath me. It's probably just some sloppily written wish fulfillment fan fiction garbage. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's not going it's not going that bad. No, it's definitely going to be that bad. I can feel the lack of talent from here. Any book with a, with a title this bad has to be just as bad as the as the inside. Um well, if the ultimate writing prodigy says it, I'm pretty I'm sure it's true. <sighs> A tasty subject like S and M boiled down to this crap. A true masochist like me would be do better. How did this get even get published? You must really be getting desperate to put this out. Which reminds me. Hey, as I'm true masochist, are you? Have you ever had that kind of experience? I don't like this. How the way this is going. What like being tied up or suspended? There's nowhere to do such indecent things. Mm -hmm. But how do you know you're masochist if you've never done that stuff before? Isn't like someone saying they love cigarettes, but they never smoked before? <laughs> you underestimate my imagination. I don't like this. Every spare moment I'm being stepped on, tied up, suspended by my master. In my head. Okay. <laughs> you sound pretty proud of about but... that. That reminds me, one time I was really tied up and suspended. Could it be? By Biakua? No. No. I don't even remember his name now. It was when I was in third grade. Someone's lunch money got stolen and it somehow ended up in my desk. My classmates thought I did it, so they tied me up in the jungle gym with a garden hose. So cruel. It's horrible. You're right. At the time, I felt a tingling sensation, but I'm sure it's, that's not related. Aww. That definitely sounds like a formative experience. Yep. Okay. Now, moving on. I can't go that way yet. I know that. Let's continue on, shall we? This way. Yep. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. <laughs> e, not F. Oh God, I know this place. This sucks. Ta-da! Let's play. Ta-da! Don't come near me! Yep. Boom. 
done. And now, all done. All right, cool. That was much faster than I what I did last time. Ugh. Last time it took me like two tries, and it was annoying. Alright, let's go this way. Can I go in here yet, or do I have to wait? Hey! Yep. Where are you going? Let's see the pass rate. So he says. Let's go back. Yep, didn't think so. Alright. Let's go. Right, let's go this way. Let's go. The secret passageway is this way. Yep. And look at that, that pile of corpses. So, so cruel. This is too cruel. Yes, it is. I won't look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. You really don't feel anything seeing this? It's weird how most of them are men. These people are demons. Our enemies. And weird how most of them are men. It's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're... Afraid of adults? Mostly men, though. Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. If the adults just didn't exist, we could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Also, sexism. I'm pretty sure you believe in sexism. Why are you so afraid of adults? We Warriors of Hope are classmates in the Hope Speak okay. Elementary program. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers, but I resented being called a troublemaker. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble. But yeah, that's little. not right. Our troubles were created by adults, by our parents. Unfortunate. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, we were the unluckiest ones of all. Yeah, you can't really pick My your parents. My parents were, without exaggeration, the worst. Like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. From morning till night, study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Yep. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in my arm. Three to four days straight. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, They'd use items to neuter my spirit. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. Expectations seems to be a big My thing father for was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. He wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if he pushed a child to the breaking point. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That was done to her by her family. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. What about that. the mother? Mother... That's horrible. Never mentioned Because we had talent. Because we were superior. We were treated like we were in hell. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated. Because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents. So we didn't fight it. Instead, we bonded over our struggle. And those discussions led us to the same conclusion. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. They were going to jump. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents. Scary adults. The whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out. But that's when it happened. There was someone who taught us to have courage. To fight back instead of running away. Or, oh, the devil herself. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of. Our lives. 
And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. Our disappearance didn't make much news. This was around the time the incident was growing. Hmm. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. She gave us not only love, but a dream as well. The dream of creating a children's paradise, where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko, the beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. Right. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to the common knowledge oh, we had known up until then, that. were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. As far as I remember, the first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. Hmm. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair-inducing. Yeah. It's just insane. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in, it's no different than a cult. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. I mean, Junko is kind of an adult at that point. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Demon our, boss? Their parents. Our parents. Yeah. You killed your parents? That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. Mm. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died, mm. killed by some idiot. Uh, I know who that is. When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. Now that I think about it, Junko kind of went like, uh, kind of went down like a, you know, and also kind of like a, and you know, like another thing, it kind of, she, she just kind of went like, you know, like, uh, like that. And also she went like, you know, something like that. But Monica didn't despair. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment, Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Things that didn't matter vanished, and we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And this time around, I swore an oath we, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. Yeah, she's amazing, all right. Amazing in her own way, I guess, but kind of also a little... I mean, now that I think about it, I think that just kind of proves her point. The things that... the Also, the kids' point. The, the uh, things that we perceive now is just kind of... What's already been laid out for us. We would leave us. lies like education and love for family in the past. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Justice and evil. These are beliefs that adults have defined. That is exactly not? what I was just saying. First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, Justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice yeah, either. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I wanna know why you guys chose Toa City. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas 
was Monica. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Uh, spoilers. Magic. I know what where they get it from. Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. Basically, Monica's the mastermind, and to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. You're gonna die. Hey. Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. That's true. <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive. You're a child. It seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. Mm. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. Okay. Alright, let's get going. Oh yeah, that's right. This thing. Get that. They're all gonna get that stuff. There we go. Stacking back up on break. There we go. We're here. It's at the shrine. Alright. Now let's get going. We should get going. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. Hmm. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. They probably dead. What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Biakia, that's how you say it, not Biakua. Sorry, I'm bad at I'm hey, bad at English and just saying stuff. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go, you'll be alone. Hmm. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me, you're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry for getting you involved in all this. In I mean, involved? Whoa. What do you mean? Foreshadowing! N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. Moving on. Alright. I'm gonna go over here really quick just so then I can pick this up. Children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found. But as if they knew I was hiding from the beginning, a Monokuma came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin, and her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. There's no place in this to run in this city. Um... It's true that your parents was cruel to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Again with that nonsense. After all this, we are well aware that we are killing innocents. But... This is war. When you're burning the enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if we had years, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But, but, demon, consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Wouldn't it be cool to the fate if we didn't fight back? Um, but for you to just do them what they done to us, to you, for our house, you think you should have stayed subhuman? Just accepted it? No. No, not like hey. that. Then tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to end the privilege of a nor- To earn the privilege of a normal, happy childhood? Don't mess with me! Oh, stop being such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government! Don't mess with You're me! You're asking those who had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults? <sighs> Ever since we were- we, we five were born in Tower City, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we can build an ideal paradise. With all the children in this town, you're talking about all those brats in the helmets. Of course, it's not just us, but the Monokuma kids. All the children. It's far too it's funny suspicious. all the kids in this town just, out, 
just happen to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> Perhaps I said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You can not stop us now. Pretty bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't know how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. Demon. I didn't expect a demon to understand. And then there's something here, which is helpful. There we go. The priest. And now let us continue this way. On. Get going. No turning back. This is it. Yep. Oh god. It's a cat. Uh, Help. Uh, 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 stairs? Oh my god. This Megan. is the secret passageway we prepared in case of emergency. Go through here, and you can get outside the town. Oh, I'm. I'm uh, I'll be. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Hurry up and leave. Hey, what's the holdup? If you just go through here, you'll be outside of the city. Yeah. Didn't you want to run away? Didn't you want to escape this town? Th that's right. That's what I've always wanted. At least that's what I thought. Toko, is it really okay for me to go? D do whatever you want. It has nothing to do with me. Not anymore. Oh my. Seems like I made it just in time. Nagito! What is up, my guy? You are a cool fool. Man, that was close. Truly a last minute save. You? Why are you here? Why am I here? To persuade her to stay, of course. Hmm. So that our boring and common protagonist who has no distinct characteristics doesn't just quit. Huh? Dad! You ain't boring. Komaru Naegi, though you are normal, not an ultimate, or even a part of Future Foundation, I really do think quite poorly of the idea that you would abandon your friend and run off alone. Are you really going to just run away like this? Is your conscience clear? Stop it! What are you saying? She's about to leave for good! That would be quite bothersome for me, you know? That is why I must convince her Nagito's to stay. Nagito's got his own plans happening. Huh? It would be disappointing if she did not see the game through to the end. How it was meant to be. Yeah. D don't just go speaking your mind without permission! You're a servant! Listen to me. In order to see our paradise, this girl cannot stay here. So then I must ask, which is more important to the Warriors of Hope? Paradise or the game? What are you talking about? It's obviously- The game, of course. What? You're a smart one. You must be at least vaguely aware. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sneaking about. You could have openly proposed a halt to these slayings to focus entirely on building paradise. And the reason you did not do exactly that, and are instead going behind their backs? I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna grit some. What, do you guys not just have a box of Cheez-Its in your cabinets? Jeez. Judgey Judgersons. Is because you realize your favorite Miss Mage would choose the game over Paradise. Who's smart? <sighs> do you know what you call someone who behaves like you're behaving? A traitor. You're wrong. I care about them more than anyone. They all have high hopes for me. I mean, I am the leader. Nagisa, isn't it best if you just calm down a little? You can leave the rest to me. Ugh. Okay, I really think you should. D damn it! And the voice actor for Nagito is so good. That's right. People who are not needed in this scene should go and make their exit. What are you talking about? I must admit, I am a little disappointed. When I heard that she was his little sister, I was intrigued. His? Makoto? Do you know him? Nagato 
perfect voice actor. Great. Now listen. I love him. Since I've planned the game out this far, I would like it to be completed. Of course, perhaps I am being somewhat unfair to you, Komaru. Rather, the one who disappointed me was Toka. Mm -hmm. Huh? Betrayal? Uh... Now, perhaps I am mistaken, but I believe we made a promise. You were to escort her to headquarters. Promise? Es escort? W what are you talking about? Oh, I really think it should be Toko who answers that question. But if you continue to be silent, the story cannot progress. So I will speak. All right. I made a deal with Toko. Oh. If she escorts you to the children's main base, I will release Byakuya Togami. Consider it exchanging hostages. The plan was to trade you and Byakuya. What? What are you talking about? And it was such a good deal, too. Why did it have to come to this? I don't know, man. But people, things happen, so. I'm just kind of deal with it. That's a lie, right? You're lying right now, aren't you? You're just making it up. If you believe it to be a lie, think back on when you two first met. When you first arrived at the hospital in your parachute, did you know why Toko turned up there? She came to save you because she was told where you would be landing. How else could you possibly explain such a contrived encounter? The reason Toko has been your companion through all this was because of her deal with me. Lies! You're lying! I went through considerable trouble making sure you would complete this little game. Returning the hacking gun you had lost, having the Monokuma kids deliver items, that was me. Well, you figured Considering a lot of things out. game balance, as they say. You've thought about it before, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's why you kind of unhacked our hacking gun. Why enemies conveniently drop items. Why the path you must travel on to advance is always clear. The game began as a way for the children to have fun, but it was also a game to help you grow. And I am the one who made it that way. Wh why me? Hmm? You mean, why was I so particular about choosing you? Well, that is all your brother's fault, of course. Makoto? He defeated Junko and Oshima, the one I truly hate. And I wasn't there to witness it. That's why, this time around, I wanted to see the action up close. Is that why you got captured and became a servant? And not only that, unlike him, an ultimate, you are a normal girl who can't do anything. That was particularly compelling. Her brother, a hero, the symbol of hope, the little sister, Utterly boring by comparison. If someone like you were to stand against despair, that would bring hope to the people. Hope is exclusively found on the side of the weak, the losing side. People are touched by underdog stories. Slaying Goliath, the weaker team winning a game. The majority of society is made up of the weak and untalented. They are inspired by such tales. I see. What are you saying? If my assumptions are correct, you will release a light even brighter than his. And in order for that to happen, I need you to participate in my game. How about no? Through the game, you will grow, defeat the final boss, and become the hope for this town. That's why it would be quite disappointing if you give up halfway through. Please, save this town from despair. Show me your dazzling light of hope to crush despair. What, what do you mean? I'm hope? I, I don't understand what you mean at all. Ah, I see. So you still don't understand. I blame myself. I should have been more enthusiastic. But regardless, I truly do believe in you. <coughs> no matter how big the despair, Hope will always win in the end. You're kind of insane. That is bro. why I feel no remorse becoming despair myself. You, 
You're just as crazy as those kids. You well, must be insane. Well, at this point in time, Nagito and his fellow classmates are kind of, uh... <laughs> Who cares about me? The more important thing is what you two are going to do now. I mean, now that Toko's lie has been uncovered. Toko, please, just tell me the truth. What he's saying, it's a lie, right? That I'm gonna be traded for Byakuya, and you've been lying this whole time. That's, that's gotta be a lie. Answer me, Toko! Who would actually want to save someone like you? Of course it's not a lie! What? All this time I was protecting you and cheering you up, it was all for the sake of Master Byakuya! Toko... That's right. I was deceiving you. And you just kept relying on me. Toko! Toko! Uh, trusting me like an idiot. It's your fault. I... I believed in you. Well, you shouldn't have done that. Why would you believe in me? I have a split personality with a serial killer. I'm abnormal. All my life, nobody even tried to trust me. It's always been like that. That's why I've never had a problem lying to people. But regardless, why do you believe in someone like me? Toku... From the very start, I hated you. Just being with you was insufferable. Lies. It's all lies. I'm not lying. It's the truth. Well, I'm Nagito's just over here with me eating some Cheez-Its. I tricked you from the start. You were a fool not to realize it. You're just a stupid idiot who got set up by the coward Toko Fukawa. Simple as that. Ah, Toko. Don't you think that maybe your ranting isn't helping? If you put it like that, she will be even more motivated to leave you behind, will she not? If you want to stop her, you've got to try harder. Byakuya is important to you, right? Uh -oh. Guess there's no other way. By force if I have to. Force? Uh-oh. Gotta kill! Kill, 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 kill! Oh, I got no choice. I gotta start the slicing! Togo! Let's if do this. Just serious, run! I'm seriously gonna kill you! Stop it already, Togo! Um, I won't let you escape, Kamaru. Uh-oh. It would be oh, troublesome wait, if you did not play your role. Uh, your foundation. Yes! Boom. It works on the stun gun. Aha. Uh -huh. If you don't defeat me, you'll never be able to leave this town. See? Now what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you. <laughs> die. You done already? Not really. I'm kind of just running. What are you out. doing? Wait. Stop. Uh, I don't. Uh, Appreciate this. You kind of just revealing me, and I don't appreciate. You have to sacrifice it. something, whether it's school or the outside world. It's all the same. Okay. Okay. Now I just need to get you. Yeah. There we go. You huh. That's strange. Even with the hacking gun, Komaru should be easily outmatched by Toko. Right, thank you. Okay, now just gonna boom. Come at me. If you don't defeat me, you'll never come be able me, to bro. leave this town. Oh god, this no! oh, come on, no. Okay. Wait, crap, where, where am I going? Oh, good. I'm done. Hey! Leveled up. And somehow I got my clothes back, which is great, because uh, I don't want to She lost spend consciousness. The rest of the game half naked.
Coco. Oh, I lost consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run! What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force! You did it on purpose, didn't you? You yeah. lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go. Right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Hmm. Toko, why? If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it sounds disgusting when you say it. Yeah, it kinda does, but that's also the charm of it. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Oh, what's gonna happen? Animated well, scenes, great. It's for the sake of the game. <laughs> Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? <laughs> then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Good. Yay! Woo! Shut the hell up, you lanky, wavy haired bastard! Ah, all right. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I said. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. Mm. If we didn't, there's no way we'd both love Master. Uh. And my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. Mm. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself. So I can kill you as I like. No I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? Oh, friends. To travel the harsher path. For the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends, do you not find it strange? Or even shameful? <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Man, really giving her all into it. Obviously, friggin' not. You call it my friend! No! You're my friend! Yay! What are you doing? Let go! Friendship wins in the end. No, I won't! Always. I mean, you made a promise with Byakuya, right? 
You said you won't kill anyone anymore. If you keep your promise, you can be an official member of Future Foundation. That's why you... You just can't. I never thought of, of you or Toko as abnormal, not even one bit. Mm. You're just a little strange, that's all. But even so, you are important to me. You and I are friends now, no matter no. what happens. You're a precious friend and I won't let you do this! You know... You're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. Mm. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <sighs> Hey. I'll stay. Where'd your tear if go? That's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's right. Hey! Do you know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? You know what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, mm. but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected. You just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't! Mm. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting... You can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But I can at least do normal things, right? Yeah, you can. And it's normal yeah. for a friend to help a friend. Yeah. It's I'll good stuff. Stay. No matter how much you say no, I will definitely stay with you, alright? Yeah. I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. Mm. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Toko! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Yay! So, um, about what just happened... It... it's alright. I kinda figured out what was happening. Really? F friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> that depressing well, you're actually cute. one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! <laughs> well, guess it turned out so all not right. funny! Yeah, Nagito. <laughs> You. If Komaru Naegi had run away, the hope of this city would have gone with her. Yep. To prevent that, a wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Well, it's gonna have to. Though it does hurt. Yes, it does. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? All you have to do is defeat the final boss. Which is the mage. Or Monica. You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? In theory. In theory? Hmm. I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. Uh -oh. I have a partner. But I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be alright. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will hope. overcome it. The yes, deeper hope. and darker the despair. The brighter and more powerful the hope born from it. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're crazy, all right. 
You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. I see. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. So in order to get back Biakia, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Okay. Then I'll do it. There's no other choice. No other choice. Right, Toko? But are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Oh. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Friendship! Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, you ruined the moment. I Thanks. Have a Thanks, Nagito. For you. You're great. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Oh. oh crap. <laughs> 10 second rule. Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help from Shirakuma and Haichi. Hmm. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. Shirakuma said it too. Mm. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? True. What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Yeah. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. No, shut up. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. Okay. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. Okay, a blue building. Uh, You're sending good. us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru, I'll protect oh, them both. She called, she called Toko, no, Kamaru, Kamaru, not Omar. Even if it takes my life. Bye. See you next time. Do Oop. your best. You don't die Defeat by despair. bleeding out. That's it. Just a little longer, just a little longer, and that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. Yep, there it is. <laughs> so upset over something like this. You really are a child.